I have temporalis tendinitis. I was taking these lovely photos for my introduction, and I moved my head in such a way that I heard a crack in the back of my skull, and it hurt a lot. I even have photos! Okay, we can begin. You know, I have a lot of useless videos. But I think this one takes the cake. So here's the deal. A couple of days ago, I was sitting, bored in quarantine, and I decided to organize my nasty ass room. And that's when I came across my nail polish collection. Now, you may not know this about me, but I have a pretty bad habit of buying copious amounts of nail polish that I'm never gonna use. I've been doing so for about four years, and I know that my collection kind of pales in comparison to Christine's, but it's still something that will have the guests questioning my sanity over. And the thing is, I don't even use it. It just sits there. Every once in a while I walk over, pick out some nail polish, and just look at the glitter. That's it. It's mesmerizing, what can I say? But it was Sunday evening, you know, I was bored as frick, and I wondered to myself, is it possible to paint with nail polish? Can it even be done? Well, there's only one way to find out. So the first item of business, I can't, I really, I'm sorry. So the first item of business was to do some baseline tests, you know? I tried to blend some polishes together on a little piece of paper to see if they could even blend. And you know, for the most part, it kind of worked. <coughs> so let me read you a couple factoids here. My nail polish collection breaks down to 24 pinks, 18 purples, 16 blues, 13 greens, 5 bronzes, 5 silvers, 4 reds, 4 yellows, 3 oranges, 3 grays, 2 blacks, and 1 beige. How the hell am I supposed to paint anything with those colors? <laughs> Not to mention, nearly all of my polishes are holographic. I don't know of one single person who has holographic skin. So anyways, needless to say, I was a little bit stooped, but I wasn't gonna give up yet. So I searched up Color Run. That didn't really pique my interest at all. So then I searched up Colorful Flowers. Guess what? Boring! So then I searched up Colorful Light Portraiture. And I found this, and it worked perfectly. Okay, great, we're getting somewhere. But I need a canvas, yeah. Tough luck, buddy. You're not allowed to leave the house short of death. But where there's an obstacle, there's always a company looking to make money. And thankfully, Michaels has this thing called roadside pickup, where you just call in, place an order, and then they have your stuff waiting on the curbside for you to pick up. So we did just that, you know, we swooped in, did the thing, and we're back home before we could say Corona. Now, to make this video, I watched a lot of nail polish content. Like, a lot. I probably watched every single nail polish person out there. I wanted to learn how they blend polishes together, how they make colors stand out, and uh, I learned a lot of stuff. And this is where I learned that holographic nail polishes do look the best on a black base. And that's what I did! I just used some regular black acrylic paint and covered the whole damn canvas in black. And you know what? You might get your panties in a bunch because it's not polished, but... Screw you. Step three. Sketch an outline. This took me like a stupid amount of time. It took me like a day. It was a lovely Tuesday afternoon. I opened the windows wide and I stole my dad's fan from downstairs for added ventilation. <laughs> and then I put polish brush to canvas. And boy oh boy, was it here that things took a nosedive. I don't know, young- ah! You better stop! Stop! Oh. Bitch. Needless to say, things weren't looking too hot at the beginning of this whole experience. Something I kind of learned the hard way is that you can't treat nail polish the same way as conventional paints. Because nail polish dries in like 0.2 seconds. You literally have to take the polish brush and blend it on the canvas. Turns out, layering the polish 
really is the secret to making this look good. If you're gonna do this, which I don't know why you ever would want to, you're gonna have to slather that stuff on thick, okay? Like really go ham with the layering. And if you think you've put on enough layers, how dare you speak to me like that, okay? Shut up. And you gotta make your canvas look like that one Nikita Dragon palette. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm actually dying. <laughs> the scent of polish is, you know what? I was kind of freaking out beforehand that it wasn't gonna look good in any capacity. And let's be very clear here. This is nothing to be losing your marbles over. But you know what? Whatever I do, I'm not gonna let myself quit this video. I've been doing this for 103 videos. This isn't gonna be the one that I just throw in the towel. It was time to do the eyelashes. There are two aspects of every painting that I always struggle with. The eyelashes and the hair. So needless to say, I was extremely nervous going into this. I took this little nail art brush that I never used for nail art and just kind of flicked. I don't know how else to describe it, but it kind of worked. And I don't know why it worked, especially on this painting. Like, what? There's a glitch in the simulation. Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. Now, people often get mad at me for being so negative about my paintings. So I'm just going to take this opportunity to quickly defend myself. The short answer is, I don't want to sound like Gabby Hanna defending her bad poetry. I'm so bad. The long answer is, my limited knowledge with respect to art comes from grade 11 art class, okay? I've never taken an actual professional art class. So I don't know the actual techniques that artists use to paint masterpieces. I'm not even that fluent in color theory, okay? I just kind of do what works well for me. And this isn't me being intentionally self-deprecating in any manner. No, this is me admitting that if an actual artist were to look at my paintings, they would know that, mm, Something's not right. This looks like if Euphoria puked all over a canvas. It's at this moment that I would like to give a quick shout out to a little something called Nail Polish Thinner. I discovered this during my aforementioned little deep dive on nail polish. And uh. I have to say, what a freaking lifesaver, okay? When your polish is getting all gunky and nasty and gross and thick, you just put a couple drops of that stuff in there, shake it up, and boom! Get, in, get his new! Okay, so her melon head was finished, it was time for the hair. Like I said before, hair terrifies me. It never looks right. So I can't believe that I'm actually saying this, but this might be some of the best hair I've ever painted. I don't understand how it happened, it just kinda did. It looks like hair. It walks like hair. It talks like hair. It must be hair. The rest of the painting just kind of happened, honestly. It was a blur, and uh, I think it might have been the nail polish fumes really catching up to me, but we'll never know. The room is still spinning, so. At this point, it was already Thursday, so I was really fed up with this and ready for it to be over. Her shoulders were probably the most complicated part because of just how many damn colors there are going on there. Like, really. You couldn't just stick to one color. You really had to go and make it look like a Skittles commercial. What the hell is happening? Ooh, also, a uh, shout out to that time where I gave her an extra clavicle, and then I was all like, Wait a minute, hold on. And then had to, like, hurriedly cover it up. But eventually, it came to an end. And on May 23rd, at 1.16pm, I finally put down the nail polish brush. I'm done. I'm done. I, I'm done. So I think we can learn several things from this ordeal. Is it possible to paint with nail polish? Yes. It's just extremely difficult. No one should do this if you value even an iota of your sanity. And if the atrocious blending doesn't do it for you, the fumes surely will. Which brings me to my next point. The stench? I don't... How do I even begin? You can probably smell this video through the screen right now. It's been three days, okay? All the windows have been opened. 
And my room still smells like a nail salon on acid. We opened my windows. We opened my mom's windows. We opened the balcony. We opened the front door. The stench is like ingrained in my skin. If you get too close to this painting, you'll just see all sorts of bumpy. The nail polish is like so freaking thick that you can actually feel where the polish meets the paint, you know? I feel violated. Now I forgot to mention this, but I thought that by the end of this video, I would have blown through my entire nail polish collection and I wouldn't have to keep any of it anymore. Well, guess what? After I finish this painting, this is the most empty bottle that I own. Can you focus? Hello? 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 Now, despite all of that, I have to admit, this is possibly the most beautiful painting I've ever made. It's sparkly, you know, it's glittery. Especially if you turn off the lights, it's like something else. It's dimensional, you know? It's 3D. It's so awesome. If it wasn't for the scent, this is like a bootleg scratch and sniff, except you don't even have to scratch because it just bombards you with the scent of nail polish at all times. So yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, I'll see you guys later.